here we start discussing free fall um, and objects undergoing free fall. Uh, so what is, what is free fall? Uh, free fall basically is any time an object is only being influenced by the force of gravity. So for example, if we drop a ball off of a roof of a building and it's falling towards the ground, um, that object is undergoing free fall because really after you drop it, the only thing acting on the, on the ball is the gravitational force of the earth pulling it downward. Um, furthermore, an object that is thrown up into the air is also going under, is also uh, experiencing free fall, even though it is rising. Now, that's because as soon as it leaves the hand of the thrower, um, the only force pulling it back down to the ground is again the gravitational force of Earth. So whether an object is falling or rising, um, both of them are undergoing free fall. Now, we say that the only force acting on the objects is the gravitational force of the Earth, and that's an idealized situation. Uh, really, there's other forces acting on these bodies, like that of the friction of the atmosphere slowing the ball down. Um, but for this discussion, we're going to neglect those forces and simply talk about the gravitational force of the Earth pulling the object down. So we're going to start in this section with an example of a man on top of a building um, dropping a ball down to the Earth. And we're also going to plot um, here the, the changing velocity with time. So you see that the velocity of Earth time, time plot up here on the board. Now, it's important to note at this point the coordinate system. Uh, during free fall, when objects are moving up and down, we typically say the positive direction is up. So if an object is traveling upward, it's going in the positive direction, and if it's traveling downward, it's going in the negative direction. So here, when the ball is dropped, it's going to be going in the negative direction. It's going to be going downwards. And so the ball starts with a velocity of zero meters per second while it's in the guy's hand. And as he drops it, the velocity is going to start increasing to more and more negative values. It's going to get greater and greater in the negative direction. So it starts from zero and it hits the ground. It's, it's maximum velocity at, say, negative 30 meters per second. So here, V not Y is equal to zero. And VY will equal to negative 30 meters per second. Okay, and so we've said that if an object starts off at zero, um, uh, at a low value, and slowly increases or increases its velocity, we say that it is accelerating. And this is no different here. The velocity is starting off at zero and getting greater and greater, and so we say it's accelerating. If we plot this guy, we'll see that it looks something like this. We notice again that this plot is a straight line, like we would expect all constant acceleration objects to produce on a velocity versus time plot. And it turns out that all objects that fall are going to have the exact same slope or the exact same acceleration. All objects that fall to the ground on Earth have an acceleration of negative 9.8 meters per second squared. You may wonder, where did I get this value? Well, this value is dependent on the size of the Earth, the mass of the Earth. So if we were on the moon, say, uh, whose mass is one-sixth that of Earth, this acceleration would be different. Here, this, the Earth, what we're saying, the Earth pulls down objects at the same rate, regardless of the mass of the object. And it pulls them down at negative 9.8 meters per second squared. And this is shown here in this um, plot. So for the first second, we're saying that the velocity changed from 0 to um, negative 9.8 meters, meters. Okay? So if we look at our um, acceleration equation, which is the change of velocity over the change in time, um, here, our change, of our change in time was one second, and our change of velocity was 9.8, or negative 9.8 meters per second. And so if you do the math, you get negative 9.8 meters per second squared. So if we go from one second to two seconds, 
our velocity is now increasing again by another negative 9.8 meters per second. So we would get to somewhere around negative 20. Um, and again, if we go from 2 seconds to 3 seconds, the velocity is now increased from about 20 to a little bit less than negative 30. And so you see that for each, each second that this object falls, the velocity is increasing by negative 9.8 meters per second. And all objects are going to do this that fall to the ground.